Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. Electric ranges are an essential appliance in many kitchens. Under the surface, there are a lot of components that work together to provide usable heat. If even one component fails, it can prevent the range from working properly. In this episode, we'll learn how it all works, and we'll look at the overall system and the major circuits. Then we'll learn about conventional and ceramic stovetops. Finally, we'll look at the oven operation and we'll take a look at some common problems. Let's get started. The electric ranges are pretty simple at a base level. When electricity passes through the heating element, the resistance in the material generates heat. Both the stove and the oven elements require 240 volts to operate, which is supplied by two separate 120 volt lines. When the heat is off, one line is still active, powering the display, clock, and the light. So if none of the elements are heating, but the display works, then it's likely an issue with one line of power. The oven elements are connected to the control board. The stove elements are on separate circuits and work independently from the oven. This means the surface elements will still work even when the control board has failed. So when troubleshooting, it's best to try all of your heating elements, the self-cleaning function, the lights, and the timer to verify which circuits are receiving power. You can learn more in the troubleshooting videos linked below. There are two common types of electric stovetops. Conventional stoves have coiled heating elements which are exposed directly on the cooktop. Each burner is on a separate circuit and is controlled by an infinite heat switch. When you turn the dial, the switch closes letting 120 volts travel through both sides of the element. This provides the necessary 240 volts. One side of the switch will remain closed, which will power the cooktop indicator light. The other side of the switch will open and disconnect power once the element heats up. It will cycle on and off to maintain the set level of heat. Ceramic or radiant stoves hide their heating elements under a smooth glass surface. These work in the same way, but will have a built-in limiter and come in single, dual, or even triple coil varieties. On the limiter, there are terminals for the high limit switch and the indicator switch. The high limit switch will shut off the element if it overheats the indicator switch is on a separate circuit from the element. When the element heats up past 150 degrees Fahrenheit, the switch will close, turning on the hot surface light. If one of the burners is not heating up, it could be one of several problems. Over time, the contacts can warp or might not close properly. As well, damaged wires can also prevent the element from receiving power. Additionally, heating elements can burn out with normal use. This is not always visible, so it's best to do a continuity test. If the cooktop indicator light stays on, then it's most likely a stuck contact. In this case, the switch continues to send power to the light even when all the burners are turned off. Now, if the hot surface indicator light stays on and won't turn off once the cooktop is cooled down, then it's not an issue with the light. Instead, it's a problem with the limiter in one of the surface elements. Each of these components can be tested using a multimeter. You can learn more in the videos linked below. Electric ovens have several basic components. The control board, temperature sensor, the broil element, 
and the bake element. The control board is the brains of the oven. It regulates power to the oven elements, initiates self-cleaning, and displays time and temperature settings. After the cooking temperature is set, the control board sends 120 volts through both sides of the heating elements. Once the oven is preheated, the control board monitors the temperature sensor. It will cycle the elements on and off to maintain the cooking temperature. The broil setting uses just the broil element to brown the top of the food. The bake setting uses both elements, with the majority of the heat coming from the bake element below. In convection ovens, a fan is used to circulate air around the oven. This helps the food to cook more evenly. If the temperature sensor fails, then it can prevent the oven from heating at all. Additionally, in some models, a blown thermal fuse or a faulty limit switch can also prevent the elements from receiving power. Now, if the oven is underheating and is not cooking food properly, then it's likely that one element has stopped working. Alternatively, if both heating elements are working and your oven isn't getting hot enough, then it's likely a faulty temperature sensor. The oven sensor is a heat-sensitive resistor known as a thermistor. The control board sends an electrical current through the sensor to determine the temperature. If the resistance is outside of the rated values, then the control board will misread the temperature and will overcompensate. This can cause the oven to overheat or underheat. The control board also monitors the oven and will display an error code if something goes wrong. Error codes will point you in the right direction, but won't tell you exactly what has failed. To narrow down the problem, watch the troubleshooting videos linked in the description below. For more troubleshooting videos on water heaters, furnaces, and appliances, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit our name relocation to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.